We're going to continue along with JavaScript syntax, and in this video we're going to take a look at conditionals. Now if you have experience in other languages, conditionals will be very familiar to you. Now there are many different types of conditions in JavaScript. In this video we're going to examine the if statement and the else statement, but first we will start out with the if statement. Now an if statement simply examines whether a condition is true or not, and we'll talk more about that in a second. Now this is just a basic if statement that we're starting out with here, and it always starts out with the if keyword, and that's always in lowercase. Now our condition goes inside these parentheses right here, and this can only be true or false. There is no in between here, true or false. If it is true, then we will execute all of the code that is placed between these squiggly brackets. If it is false, then nothing will happen with this code that I currently have. So we would actually just get a blank screen because no code will be executed. Now what are conditionals? Conditionals are all about decisions. You make decisions every day in your life, whether you go to work or not, whether you brush your teeth, whether you do any number of thousands of things that you do every day. But a computer doesn't know that. And so we have to tell it when to execute particular pieces of code that we want to execute. And actually conditionals are very important because you might not want to execute all of the JavaScript code that you have in your file. You may only want to execute certain sections and that's where conditionals come into play. Now as I said we put the condition between the parentheses. And what are we testing out here? Well in this case we're going to test out whether a variable has a particular value or not. So first let's create the variable and we're going to create a variable called food and it's going to store a string called apple which of course is a particular type of fruit. Now let's place the condition inside the parenthesis. So what I've done here is I've said food which of course is the variable double equal sign here and then of course our value. Now let me explain this. This double equals is not an actual assignment operator. Now you will remember up here we are assigning the value of apple to the variable food. This is actually completely different. Here we are examining this variable to see if it has the value of apple. And so that's what the equals equals does. It has nothing to do with assigning a value. It is simply examining this variable, scrutinizing this variable to see if this indeed equals apple. And in this case, of course, it does. So this condition would test out to be true. And so we would execute whatever code we put in here. So let's go ahead and put some code in here and we will just do an alert. And we are going to alert with the following string. We ate some fruit and specifically an apple. Okay, and let's save this and we'll run this from our web page. And you can see we get the message. We ate some fruit and specifically an apple. So let's close all this out. Now let's change the value of our food variable to meat. Now, of course, this condition is not true. So this should not be executed and we should get a blank screen. So let's see what happens here and nothing and that's what we expected and maybe you want that maybe that's exactly what you want you want in this case nothing to happen but let's say you do want some code executed for a false condition then that is where the else statement comes into play and that always goes right below the if statement so let's put an else in here and I'm just going to copy and paste this in here and here is our else. Now basically as I said an else is an else will only be executed if this condition is false. So for every other value other than apple the else will be triggered. So I could put airplane in here. I don't know why a food would be an airplane but any value other than apple will get the else statement triggered. Actually let's just say we ate something else. How about that? And uh, let's go ahead then and save this and we'll run this. And there you can see we got the alert, we ate something else. And so that is how the if else works. Now I will point out that an else does not work by itself. You must have an if statement first and then you can add an else if you want. But it's not mandatory, you could just use an if statement. But you must have an if statement in order to have an else statement. And again, this is the false condition. Okay, in the next video, we're going to talk about adding multiple conditions. And we're actually going to use this same code. So if you type this out, save it, and I will see you guys in the next video.